Congratulations. Uh, I can only imagine, and we're all excited to hear what these last 40 hours or so have been like. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, thanks for having me. So take it from the moment that game ended. Uh, I, I realize you have spent a lot of time in the clouds flying back, but uh, other than the time in the air, what's it been like? Oh, man, it's, it's been very joyful. You know, it's been a great experience, you know, just uh, celebrating with the team and with the fans and realizing that we made history being the first team to go to the Final Four. I know there there's so many aspects of this. For a player, you are you spent a long time on the West Coast uh, from round, the first and second round to the – to the round of 16 and eight, but uh, you're concentrating and there's, there's often not much time to enjoy it. It can occasionally be a joyless experience, but it seems based on the, the smile you have, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, can, you, can you let loose a little bit, even though you still have a couple more games perhaps to play? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, uh, especially when we got back, you know, we had a big uh, crowd of fans just celebrating us as we walked about out and, you know, uh, and today we had watched film, so we're trying to put that behind us and lock in for our next opponent. And before we, we look ahead, um, just this run. Uh, I mean, you were, the, you were there on Selection Sunday watching all the so-called experts uh, pick everyone other than Alabama to get very far. Is, is, that, is that something that motivates you guys, or are you used to it uh, this year? Oh, for sure. You know, that's that's something that definitely motivated us, you know, hearing everybody talk about our defense and how bad it, it was, you know, that's something that we everybody took personal on our team and we uh, hopefully changed that topic. A little bit different than last year when uh, the shoe was on the other foot, so to speak, you were the number one seed. Was there anything in particular uh, that ignited your team or was this just a collection of disrespect? I say it's just a collection of disrespect, you know, just hearing it from the media, just saying uh, these guys are going to be out the first round. They're going to get upset by Charleston. And just when we kept on winning, team, they just kept saying, oh, they're not going to make it. They're not going to win. They're too soft. And just we just kept finding ways to motivate us to uh, win the games. And guess what, Mark? Uh, they're saying it again about Saturday night. I, I know you're, you're, you're watching film. You're not getting hung up on the pundits, but you know how good UConn is. Uh, yeah, for sure. They're the, the, nas the national champions, the reigning national champions. And, you know, uh, just to continue to have that, um, that underdog mentality, you know, when people keep doubting us and, you know, that's what we feed off of. Uh, it seems like we were talking to some of your friends uh, in the football, on the football team who had a similar approach a couple of months ago. I know that uh, one thing doesn't necessarily rub off, but but the whole length thing uh, with, with the players uh, on the football team, uh, did, did you, I mean, I know you guys are busy playing, but did any of that rub off? And, and, and what's it been like trying to, to, to do a similar thing and, and, sh and show and prove everyone wrong? Uh, I say it definitely did, you know, because, you know, they went through that, that that's the same thing we're going through, you know, just we need to just uh, continue to prove people wrong. And that's our motto. We love pro proving people wrong. Well, you have done a really good job of that. Uh, for those of us who have covered Alabama basketball for many eons, uh, this day never seemed like it was going to happen. Um, I know that you're young and uh, you, you really don't quite appreciate what other teams have gone through, but, but, but I'm sure you can read it on the fans' expression. What, what, what does it mean to you and your teammates uh, to have finally done something that no Alabama team has ever done? I um, mean, like I said earlier, it's just it's glad to be a part of history and to see the the joy on fans' faces that we're walking around uh, Tuscaloosa, just getting some, uh, some food, you know, just having fans come up and tell us that we've been looking for this moment for 20 plus years. And for y'all to do that, it, it was really special. Mark, uh, how do you how do you fade all that out, though? Because uh, you're about to go to a play. I mean, every, every site is exciting. Uh, whether you, know, you started out in, in Spokane or, or got down to L.A., but nothing is, is quite like a Final Four. I know you've seen the tournament as long as you've been alive, but uh, it, is, it is unadulterated chaos. So what are your coaches telling you about how to, how to deal with what you're about to get into in Arizona? Uh, yeah, they told us that uh, the media that we thought we were getting now in the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight, that's nothing compared to the Final Four. And, you know, we... We're going down there with uh, we're staying focused and, and we're not we're obviously going to enjoy the media, but that's not um, that's not why we're there. We're there to win a basketball game. Mark, I, I know that you thought about it a, a lot last year when 
so much was expected. But uh, can you go back in your still young life and remember the first time uh, you, you saw a Final Four championship? I mean, did, did you start thinking, uh, like a lot of young kids, man, that would be pretty cool to be in? Yeah, I'll go back to uh, when Kentucky was in a, a – they was in a Final Four and they played uh, uh, Wisconsin, I think, in a yeah, national Yeah, that was 2015. Yeah, they played them in a national championship game, and I was like, man, I could, I really want to be a part of this one day. I want to, I can see myself playing in the Final Four one day. And, you know, that, that's what really motiv motivated me and driven me to have that hunger to be a part of it. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, that, that was the perfect team uh, that, that didn't end up perfect, and Kentucky has not been back since. And, and here, here you are with your teammates. Uh, I, I, you briefly mentioned uh, the film session on UConn. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what you've seen so far, and you'll see a lot more. You know they're the reigning champion. They, they are not just winning. Uh, they're, they're just uh, taking teams apart. Uh, what do you see on film when you take a look at them? And obviously you've seen them play this year. Oh, they're, they're a very good team. You know, they, uh, they play together, and uh, they're just uh, – you can tell that they have chemistry just basically from the same – having the same team basically from last year. You, you can tell they – play with a lot of chemistry on the floor. So, you know, that that's that's what we're seeing on film. Mark, I want to uh, talk a little bit before you go. Uh, and I know I realize you're just from, just from film session and practice, and it's pretty chaotic, but we, we appreciate you sharing some thoughts with us. Let's talk about Coach Oates for a second. You're, most of your coaches last year left for better situations, become head coaches, and, and, and somehow, some way, uh, Coach Oates has really uh, managed to – reignite this program with new personnel, a lot of new players. Uh, tell us what he means to you guys on the court. Uh, he, man, he, he changed, he changed uh, the program around and uh, changed my career around and everybody's career around. You know, he just, he brings that winning culture to the, to the program. You know, he's going to get the best out of each and every one of his players. And, you know, that's, that's what we can ask for his players to get better. And he's going to get the best out of us. Marky, uh, I know him moderately well. He seems low key. Uh, something tells me he's not low key when when you're at practice or or in the huddle. Tell, take us inside there. What's he really like? He, off the court, he's really cool. And but when, once you step on the court, it's all fun and games aside. Where it's straight business, and he's he's gonna let you hear it <laughs> in a good way and out of love. But uh, we both got the same uh, the same thing, and that's winning. So we're willing to do and hear whatever he has to say to get the job done. Listen, you guys uh, would not be sitting at, at this precipice right now if you weren't great competitors and champions. But I want to ask you about the difference between getting to the Final Four, which quite frankly, other than maybe for a handful of schools, is the goal every single season. You, you've, gotten, you've gotten that part out of the way now, but uh, you want to win a championship. Uh, how do you get over the fact that uh, you made it to the Final Four and, and now – you know, pull a major upset and be in that game Monday night with the whole world watching. Oh, uh, yeah. It, I say uh, just getting the thought of we made it to the Final Four, it all ended when we started our film session today. And, you know, that's when our minds shifted. Uh, we got to win another game. We gotta, we, we're we still one of the four teams alive, and our job's not done yet. I, I know you're not. your job's not done yet, but uh, I can imagine uh, everybody you've ever met and probably some you never – uh, remember meeting or breached out, uh, congratulating you, asking for tickets, doing whatever people do at, at crazy, uh, maniacal times like this. How, how do you, how do you and your teammates deal with all the extraneous off the court stuff that you really don't need to be dealing with right now? Oh uh, yeah. We just, we try to stay focused. We try not to be on our phones that much because we can, if you, we, we do realize that we on our phones could be on the phone for like an, an hour, just trying to get back to the people reaching out to them and just, you know, just, uh, just trying to stay focused and get off your phones as much as we can. Finally, uh, we've talked about you and your teammates. Uh, you've got a lot of friends and family who I, I know are enjoying this. What's it been like for them, uh, to experience it with you and, and your friends? Oh, they they really been enjoying it. My family been enjoying it. My mom, you know, she got the free throw routine, and she's really been enjoying it. So, it yeah, I mean. I've read a lot really about it. Let's, let's talk about her before you go, uh, because she uh, she certainly seems inspirational. Uh, take us – take us, uh, I, know, I know all mom-son relationships are different, but uh, this one sounds pretty special. 
Uh, yeah, so she's been doing that free throw routine since I was like in third grade. So like she's been the same exact person that she is now as in third grade. So like it's it's new to everybody else, but it's it's just the same to me. <laughs> Well, she's gotten a lot of TV time, and I have a feeling she's going to get a lot more Saturday night.